Hello and welcome to today's session. Today we are looking at anatomical position and directions. So this is another concept in human anatomy. All right. Yes. So in anatomical position, um, this refers to the position of the body when it is standing upright and facing forward with each arms hanging either side of the body with the palms facing forward. It is a standardized body position used as a reference point worldwide. So in anatomical position, we have um, the first thing, the body should be standing upright, okay? Head and eyes directed straight ahead, upper limbs at sides, upper limbs slightly away from the trunk, palms facing forward, okay? Then you have the thumbs facing or pointing away from the body, yeah, the thumb, the thumb. We have the lower limbs parallel and uh, fl uh, feet flat on the ground and facing forward. So these are some of the uh, basic characteristics of someone who is in a, in anatomical, in anatomical position. We have eight items, standing upright, head and eyes directed straight ahead, upper limbs at sides, upper limbs slightly away from the trunk, palms facing forward, thumbs pointing away from the body and lower limbs parallel, feet flat on the ground and facing forward. For the anatomical directions, this one they refer to terms that are used to describe the locations, position, uh, movements of structures within the body. These terms are used to provide a standardized way for the healthcare providers, anatomists, scientists who study uh, to communicate effectively about specific parts and their relationship. So that's why we're talking of things like cranial towards the head, caudal towards the tail, ventral or, uh, or anterior, that is the front, posterior or dorsal, the back. Okay, we also have distal away, proximal towards, we have proximal, distal, medial, and lateral. Let's look at the first one. Um, and the first one is the anterior. Okay, anterior also referred to as ventral vis-a-vis uh, -vis posterior. So you can see anterior and the posterior, the dorsal side, okay, in either case. So, um, Anterior refers to the front, uh, the front of the body, whereas the dorsal or the posterior refers to the back of the body. We have, we can give examples like the chest is anterior to the spine, okay, whereas the shoulder blades are posterior to the, to the rib cage. So the chest is uh, anterior to the, the spine. So the chest is in front of the spine, guys. Next, we have superior and inferior, and superior indicates a structure that is located above or higher in the body, whereas inferior indicates a structure located below or lower in the body. So um, the head is superior to the torso. Yeah, that's what we really need to know. The, rest the head is above the torso, okay, or higher than the torso. Whereas the torso is inferior to the head, okay? So the torso is inferior to the head. We can also say that the head is superior to the, ne to the neck, okay? The head is superior to the neck. All the feet are inferior to the knees, the feet, the knees, okay? Correct, guys. Next, we look at the medial and uh, lateral. So medial, say, we say that uh, this describes a structure closer to the midline of the body, okay? The midline of the body. So the midline of the body is here in our diagram. Whereas lateral means a structure that is further away from the, from the midline. So further away from the midline, lateral, okay? Towards the midline, medial. Okay, we can also say that the nose is medial to the eyes. So the nose is more closer to the midline than the eyes. So all the ears are lateral to the, the ears are lateral to the eyes. So the ears lateral to the, the eyes. So the ears are farther away from the midline. 
We can also talk about the proximal and distal. So proximal indicates a structure closer to the point of attachment or trunk of the body, whereas distal indicates a structure farther away from the point of attachment of the, or, or the trunk of the body. So we can say that the elbow is proximal to the wrist, okay? So the elbow is proximal to the wrist. It means that uh, the elbow is more closer, more closer to the attach, point of attachment than the wrist. We can also say that the fingers are distal to the elbow. Fingers are distal to the elbow. So proximal refers to the towards the, the trunk or near the origin, proximity, whereas distal is away from the trunk, far away from the origin. So it is distant, distal, distant. Okay? Correct, guys. We have superior and inferior. The uh, superior that is uh, superior and inferior, we had already covered it. For our in the fifth one, we have the superficial and deep. So for superficial, we say that um, it describes a structure closer to the surface of the body, whereas deep uh, describes a structure farthest away from the surface of the body. We normally say that the skin is superficial to the muscle. So the skin is closer to the surface as compared to the muscles. All the bones are deeper to the muscles, okay? So the, the bones will be more deeper than the muscle. The skin is superficial to the ribs. Yeah, the skin is more closer to the surface than the ribs. All the ribs are superficial to the lungs. So the ribs are more closer to the surface than the lungs. Lungs are deeper to the ribs and equally ribs are deeper to the, to the skin. Next we have ipsilateral and contralateral. So contra, ipsilateral refers to the structures that are found on the same side of the body. Whereas contralateral means contrast, controversial, contralateral. Refers to the structures on the opposite sides of the body. So we normally say that your right arm, your right arm and your right leg are ipsilateral they are found on the same side of the body whereas your right arm and your left leg are contralateral they are found on the opposite side of the body so ipsilateral on the same side of the body whereas contralateral on the opposite side of the of the body lastly guys we have prone and supine position so prone is lying uh, face down on the bed in a prone position, yeah. Whereas supine, you face the sun, lying facing up the bed, okay. So prone describes the body's position when lying face down, whereas supine describes the body when lying facing up. So supine, you look at, you remember the sun, okay. So those are the different types of um, anatomical direction together with the description of what anatomical position is. Remember to access the free quiz in the description section of this video just to reinforce your understanding and also to challenge your, yourself. Thank you.